The ability to persuasively communicate your ideas is the single greatest skill that will help you accomplish your dreams in the next 10 years. And Approach with a personalized warm welcome. That simply means that when I walk into a store, I expect to be greeted by somebody with a smile who's enthusiastic and passionate and communicates with me and lets me know about what the next steps are if I want to buy a product. Or maybe I just want to look around myself, and that's fine. But at least I'm greeted with someone with a smile who is ready to create a transformational experience for me. AT&T Retail has been doing a lot of studying on this. They've spent years studying this. They have found that 10 feet or 10 seconds is the magic number. If someone is greeted within 10 feet or 10 seconds of what they call walking through the threshold, it significantly enhances their overall experience. AT&T conducted two focus groups. Two focus groups waited exactly three minutes to be served once they walked in. The first focus group was greeted within 10 feet or 10 seconds and told, we're a little behind, we'll get to you in exactly three minutes. The second focus group was not greeted, nor were they told how long they would have to wait. If you control for the rest of the conversation after those three minutes, who has the significantly better experience and the higher customer service score, if everything else is controlled for? The first group, of course. AT&T has been studying this. In fact, AT&T has been studying Apple retail since 2007, when Steve Jobs called Paul Roth, and I know Paul very well, called Paul Roth at AT&T Wireless and said, Paul, you need to raise your game. If you're going to be selling the iPhone, I, your customer service needs to improve. He took it as a personal challenge. Most of you have AT&T retail stores in your malls. Go into one. Check out the service. It's superior to most other stores in the mall now. They are even designing things differently based on what they learned from Apple. This sort of reminded me of a few things that David said about the showrooms yesterday. They're designing around vignettes. They're not designing around product places. They're designing vignettes. So everything you would need for home theater, everything you would need for music is all in one display area because people want to see and get a real sense of how it would look in their real home. But again, that's AT&T studying another brand and using that brand as a challenge to do better. Let's go back to Betty Byrne. When I asked her, Betty, what is your, give me some of your steps. Her first step was to greet your customer as though you were on a job interview. The first impression is so important. I said, so what does that mean, Betty? She said, that means I arrive on time. I smile. I dress well. I'm approachable. I establish a common denominator. I said, Betty, what's that? What is it? What's a common denominator? Well, if I see somebody with a license plate that says Pennsylvania, I'll say, hey, I'm from Pennsylvania too. So I'm looking for something that we have in common. But she's thinking about the importance of greeting. Apple knows this. AT&T knows this. Your top design consultants know this. Let's start doing it. That first step is so important.